Hello, welcome to SS Unit Tech Sushil this side, and this is continuation of PySpark tutorial. So, in this video, we are going to see about the join. So, what are different types of join available inside the PySpark, and how we can use all those? We'll see in this video. So, today's agenda is first, we'll see about the inner join. Next, we'll see about the outer join. So, inside the PySpark, outer means the full outer join. Next, we have the left outer join. Next, we have the right join. Next, we have anti and semi. So, these two additional type of joins are available inside the PySpark. So, inner join will work as it is we have seen inside the SQL Server. So, it will return the common record between both the data frames. Outer will return common record as well as the left side records and right side records so all those records it will return in case of the left it will return all the common records and the left data frames record right will do all the common records along with the total record from the right table next we can see the nt so nt means it will return all the records from the left table those are not available into the right table next we can see the semi so semi is work as a inner join but it will return only records and columns from the left data frame let me quickly go inside the browser and we'll try to see in practical so here i am creating two data frame first data frame for the employee and second data frame for the department so inside the employee we have the employee id name department id gender and salary similarly inside the department we have the department name and department id only these two columns so for creating the data frame here as you can see we are going to create this data frame by using the spark dot create data frame so by using this function we can create the data frame so first it is asking about the data what is the actual data next it is asking about the schema of that data so these two parameters it is asking to create any data frame similarly for the employee we can see the data for the actual data and next we can see the schema for the table structure now let me try to execute this query so what we will see it should be going to create two different data frames and the values that we will see now we can see we have two data frame the first data frame for the employee and second data frame for the department now let's start with the join so first i just wanna get the common records between these two data frames so for that I just want to join with the EMP data frame and here we just want to join with the right data frame will be your department one so that is the department data frame now the next parameter inside the join it is asking the join condition so on what basis we just want to join so we just want to join on the basis of department ID so we can go with the employee data frame dot then we have the department id if you can scroll a little bit upside then we can see the department id in the employee data frame similarly we just wanna join with the department data frame with department id column last parameter it is asking which type of join we are going to apply so first i am going to join with the inner type so let me try to use the inner join here and let's see the common records between these two data frames okay so it is saying this data frame is not defined this we can scroll a little bit upside and here we can see it has emp df let me scroll downside so here df is in capital letter so this is the case sensitive so that's why let me execute it and we'll see the output so now we can see it is returning total common records if you can scroll in the upside then we should see in the employee data frame we are having total six records but in the output we could see only five records one record is missing there because we can see the id for department id is 50 and this 50 department id is not available inside the department name so the employee id 6 should not be in the output that we can see simply here now next we can use the outer so outer as i told you it is going to treat as full outer join so we can simply specify outer here and let's execute it so what we will see it is going to return the common records between both the data frames that we can see 
like the first four and six record and here we can see this null because this sales is not available inside the employee so for the sales inside the employee we don't have any data similarly for the department 50 we don't have any data in the department so we can see that is null so it is going to return the common record between both the tables and unmatching record from the right table as well as from the left table that we can see row number five and seven instead of using outer we can also use full outer so both will be going to work as same as we can see here so it is going to return the same output or you can also use full underscore outer so it will also return the same thing and we can also use only full so any one you can use for applying the join now next type of join is left join so i am going to use the left here and let's execute it so this time it should return only six record because the five record is the common between both the tables and one record that is not available into the right table so we can see that is the id 50 so that is coming here so this is working as left or you can also use left outer here so it will also return the same thing r is missing let's execute it so this will be going to return the same thing or you can also use the left underscore outer so anyone you can use let me go with the next type of join that is the right join so this time it will return all the matching record that is is first five records so that we can see first four and the last record one that is unmatching we can see the sales one so it is coming from the right table and that is not available into the left table or you can also use the right outer right underscore outer so whatever you want to use now the next type of join is nt so you can use the nt and execute here so what it will return it will return all the records from the left table those are not in the right table so as we can see in the output so it is returning department id 50 so this department id 50 is not available into the department data frame so that's why it is returning here and we can also notice one thing it is only returning the columns from the left data frame and in the right data frame that is the department we could not see anything when we are going to use the other type of join like inner join left outer join right outer join we can see data from the left data frame as well as from the right data frame but in case of the nt and semi it will return only columns those are available into left data frame so that we can see here so instead of using this nt we can also use left nt so left nt will also do the same thing or you can go with the left underscore nt so we are having this much flexibility for using the nt left nt or left underscore nt anyone you can use the last type of join that is the semi so in case of the semi it will return as a inner join it will not return anything from the right data frame it will return only the columns those are available in the left data frame so let me use the semi and we can execute so we can see total five records are matching that we can see here but we could not see any column from right data frame so instead of semi we can use left semi or left underscore semi so all these will be working as semi join so i hope guys you have understood how we can use all these type of joins i will provide this data frame creation script in the description of this video so you can use whenever it is required thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video